Um, in today's video, we are going to be working on the camera, um, which will be a lot, which will be fun. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you guys what we're going to be doing. So the first thing, you can't see it, but I'm going to be moving the camera right, left, down. Um, and to do that, I'm using the control, the arrows on my keyboard. Um, and we will also be able to zoom down and up using our scroll wheel. So you can see my, my little mouse here. If I scroll, oops, mouse back in the game. So if I scroll up or down, it zooms in or out of our game. So we can now have not complete camera control. It's not perfect, but it does work to an extent. Um, so let's close this. And this is our game. So if we go into our camera script, this is what we should have so far. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a few variables. So let's make a comment here. We'll say um, camera control. And we're going to add a few variables. We're not going to use all of them all at once, but I'm just going to add them and we'll use them as we go along. So we'll have all of them be export. Um, let's do variable speed, and this will be equal to, what do I have? I have 20 right now. And then I'm just going to copy this a few times. I think we have five variables. So we'll have speed, we'll have zoom speed. Uh, we'll also have zoom margin. And then we'll also have zoom min, oops, and zoom max. So you can kind of assume what each one does by the <laughs> guessing by the name. So we have zoom speed. Um, the speed is is the non-zoom speed is going to be the speed that our camera moves around. So that one's the only non-self-explanatory one, I, I guess. So margin, we'll have that one be 2.5. And this one will be 3.0. And you can play around with these numbers later on, but these are just the numbers that I'm going to be using. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is in our process function, let's do the moving with our, our mouse, or sorry, moving with our key inputs. Um, the first thing we'll do actually before that, this is unrelated, or actually it is related. So we're going to need the scroll wheel. So we'll have um, add new action. We'll have wheel up, and then we'll have wheel down. And then we'll go, I'll say wheel up, and then wheel down. And then close that. And now in our process function. So the movement is going to be very similar as if a player was moving. So if you know how to move a player, I want you to try to pause and think about how are we going to move the camera as if it were a player. So the, to move the camera as if it were a player, we're going to bring in two variables. So the first variable is going to be input x and input y. Yeah, there we go, input y. And this one is just going to be int input dot is action rest UI yeah. UI right minus uh, we need one there minus int of input is action pressed UI left there we go so if you don't know what this does um i would probably suggest going to some of my other videos and checking out how movement of player works um and try to figure that out first because this is it's basically using math so we're going to take our right and left and get a strength from it and then for this one it's going to be ui down boot and this is going to be UI uh, up. Yeah, there we go. And then using those inputs, what we're going to do is basically take our position, so position.x, and we will make it equal to lerp um, position.x, position.y, no, oh, sorry, dot .x, plus the input x times speed, and then times delta, I think. Uh, no, times zoom dot x. This will be kind of more important later on, but because the zoom, the zoom isn't changing yet, but this will be important once we start changing it. Um, and then we're going to have speed times delta. There we go. 
That should be it. Okay, let's copy this. I'm not gonna read it right at all. I'm just gonna copy and change the Y values. That should be input Y. All right, and now if we play, hopefully it should work. Yeah, it works pretty awkwardly, but yes, it does work. Awesome. Um, now, yeah, that's it. So it does kind of work, but it is a bit awkward. Um, so let me check what's going on. Do, I think, let me check. I think it's because our camera is limited actually. Zero, zero, so that might be why it's a bit weird. And then the zoom is three, so it's pretty zoomed in. So let's reset it. There we go. Okay, so it does work kind of. Awesome, we just can't go up or down unless we're already like, yeah, okay. Um, so that's the position and the position X and position Y. Um, next, we're going to, let me double check I'm doing this right. Let me just copy this in so I didn't mess anything up. Input times speed, okay, zoom. Yeah, that should be right. Let me copy the other one. Oops, it's not right. There we go, position X, position Y. Okay, next thing, we're going to have zoom in and zoom out. So in here, in our process function, we're going to say zoom.x is equal to lerp um, zoom x with zoom.x times zoom factor. Is it, yeah, it's just zoom factor um, with zoom speed I just realized we're going to need this here as well so zoom factor we'll put that right above the position um i just realized i missed two three three other variables so we have zoom position zooming and zoom factor sorry about that i missed those completely all right so now we have the zoom factor times zoom x and we'll have these zoom speed. I don't know why, but that Z looks really strange to me. Um, next up, we will do zoom times delta. Yeah, not delta all caps, but delta like that. And then we'll just copy paste this for the Y. Y. And then zoom Y. Next up, we're just going to, I'm going to copy this because it's pretty short, but we're just going to clamp our zoom X and zoom Y as well. So uh, we're going to clamp the zoom X. Whoops zoom.x with the zoom min and the zoom max, and that's it. Um, and then I think that is it for, oh no, sorry, there's one more. If not zooming, yeah, uh, we're going to zoom, we're gonna set our zoom factor to one. Oh no, that's it. That's just to double check that it's at one. Um, next thing we're going to do is go down to our inputs where our process function is fine. This is going to allow us to zoom in and out, but now we actually need to give a way to actually zoom, right? We're going to have to do this in our input uh, event. So the first thing we'll check for is if the absolute value of our zoom, uh, zoom, wait, yeah, no, this was outside of it. There we go. <laughs> absolute value of zoom position dot x is or not is, but the minus the get global mouse position, there we go, uh, dot x is bigger than the zoom margin. Then we'll take our zoom factor and set it to one. And then similarly, we're going to do that for the y. So let's just replace this with y, zoom margin, we keep, uh, this one has to be Y. All right, next up, we're gonna actually make sure we're checking for the input. So this is where we actually add the wheel down and wheel up. So first we'll do something similar to this. We'll just say, if event is in input, event 
mouse button. No, motion. Yes, button. Haha, <laughs> I had to check my reference. Um, because wheel down and wheel up is a mo uh, button, not a motion. Motion is, is when the mouse is actually moving. So um, so now we'll say if event is rest and zooming equals true. Or not if zooming is true. Now we'll actually set zooming to true because that this now means that we're zooming in or out one direction. And so now we want to check which way are we actually going. Um, so we're going to check for the event dot is action wheel down. Yeah, the wheel down for this one. Just double check it's the same as my reference. And then we'll say the zoom factor is going to be minus equals zero, uh, 0 0.01 times zoom speed. There we go. And then we'll say our zoom position is going to be equal to get global mouse position. And then similarly, we will copy this over and do this for the wheel up. We'll have wheel up. However, the zoom factor is now going to be uh, plus equals. So we're zooming upwards or inwards, sorry, not outwards. And then once we let go, so this is going to be allowing us to zoom in, zoom. But once I'm done zooming, or once I, I've finished zooming or let go of the mouse, I want to be able to like say zooming is false. So this is really easy. We'll just say zooming equals false here. Um, so this is going to allow us to check if, if we're no longer pressing, then we just say zooming is false, right? Let me just double check my reference. I think that is it. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I think that's it. So now we should just be able to test it. And if I zoom in, zoom out, it works perfectly and I can move around. Um, the only thing I would say is if you want to move the camera using the middle click, which some RTS do, um, that is different. It's going to work a lot differently. Um, you can kind of figure that out on your own and I would encourage that. Um, my brain is pretty blank today, but I'm, I'm trying to, I really wanted to push out this video anyways. I wanted to try to get this zoom in and zoom out feature to you guys. Um, I've been, I took a little break as you might've been able to tell. Uh, I took like almost two weeks actually, um, off, uh, mainly because of midterms and my brain completely pooped out because of that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been really hard to push myself to record a video. Um, sitting down and talking to you guys is it's been kind of a change for me, so it's hard to get used to, but I'll try to do my best doing that. Um, yeah, if you have any requests, um, let me know down below. Um, again, join my Discord. I would very much encourage it. It helps me a lot to see you guys join my Discord and engage with me and engage with the, the small community I have. Um, I don't know, subscribe, comment, share. And I will hopefully see you guys soon. I'm going to try to, if you haven't seen already, my last video was about five different ways to move a sprite. Um, this is a continuation of a question I posted on my community. I also posted it in my Discord. Um, so the, the idea of this, of that series, I'm going to call it a series, is to get you thinking like a game dev or thinking like a programmer. Um, because it's very hard to go from simple day thinking to, okay, how do I, I have this problem? How can I solve it? And I, not just how can I solve it in one way, but how can I find five different ways to solve this problem? And some of these things that you might think of might be the worst idea you've ever thought of. In fact, the first two examples I give in the, in the last video are terrible, right? You don't want to do them, right? But I do it because the idea of, of the series is to get you thinking in that way, right? Because that's, I think that will help you to learn. That's my perspective, at least. I, I hope that would help you to learn. I'm not, I'm not sure if it will, but hopefully it does. Um, but yeah, um, this video was a bit slow in explaining. I didn't really explain too much, but hopefully you got it. Um, we just, it was pretty simple. We just, we're kind of just playing around with the zoom, built in zoom function and built in positions. Um, Godot has all this stuff pretty much done for us, right? Because they have zoom and they have um, position already. So we don't really have to do much. We just have to 
take the input and actually do something to it, right? So um, the only other thing that we changed is the zoom position as well, right? So the, um, the position, which is quite unique, um, we don't want it to just zoom directly in front. We want it to zoom wherever our camera is, right? Or wherever our um, mouse is, sorry. But yeah, um, that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.